Hello everyone. So today's video is all about unit 2 important PYQ with solution. So I have chosen two topics for today's session that is membrane fusion and blood group antigens. The reason is that in the recent past I have seen uh, questions being asked from membrane fusion as well as blood group antigens in the part C. So, uh, according to the current trend, yes, we need to be very much clear about these two topics. So, let's have a look on to the topics. First, the question here is, the following statements are made with reference to membrane fusion reactions in vesicle transport being catalyzed by transmembrane state proteins. So, statement A the snare transmembrane proteins exist as complementary sets with V-snare on vesicle and T-snare on target membrane. Statement B, a V-snare is usually composed of three proteins and T-snare is a single polypeptide chain. Statement C, the V-snare and T-snare proteins of pair interact via helical domains being possessed by two proteins resulting in the formation of a stable two helical bundle. Statement D, membrane fusion is catalyzed by the energy that is freed when the interacting helices wrap around each other to pull the membrane phases together, concurrently squeezing the water molecules out from the interways. So in this question, you need to find out the correct combination of statements. So here the correct answer is statement A and D. So A and D are correct. That means statement B and C are incorrect. So let's check it out why these two statements are incorrect. So as we all know that snare is a family of proteins that are involved in membrane fusion. And membrane fusion is a very important aspect of number of biological processes whether it is the neurotransmitter release, whether at the time of fertilization, membrane fusion plays a very important role. So, if you look into this image, here you can see V-snare proteins are there, T-snare proteins are there. That means depending upon the location, we call it as say snare proteins present in the vesicle, the snare proteins present in the target. So, the vesicles and the membrane must undergo fusion. So, to undergo the fusion, the V-snare and T-snare is pulling the two together or towards each other. And at that time, you can see the water molecules are squeezed out of the cell. So, with this, the fourth statement is correct. And once the water molecules are moving outside, we have initially the cytosolic leaflets coming together, then the non-cytosolic leaflets coming together, resulting in hemifusion and finally complete fusion. You might have noted here, V-snare is made up of a single polypeptide chain, while T-snare is made up of a three polypeptide chain. And that's the reason we have eliminated the option B. Okay, so if you see the question, three proteins coming from V-snare, single polypeptide from T-snare. So, we have eliminated this one. So, if you look into this image and we are combining this two, what we are getting? A four helical bundle. So, that becomes this statement C. So, that's why we have eliminated statement C as well. And this is squeezing the water out of the interface and V-snare and T-snare. So, statement A and D are correct. Now, if you go into the more elaboration, you can have a look into this image. This is a secretory vesicle filled with neurotransmitters. So, accordingly, we have V-snare and this is the target membrane, that is plasma membrane, T-snare we are having, along with an accessory protein, SNAP25. So, these snare proteins will help in pulling this uh, secretory vesicles towards the membrane. While they are uh, pulling towards each other, helical bundles are formed. So initially, the outer leaflet will be fused and after that, the inner leaflet will be fused. Finally, complete fusion takes place. The pore will be widening 
and releasing the contents outside the cell. So you may ask question directly, uh, directly v -snare, based on V-snare, T-snare, fusion, the sequence of events or you can also expect questions by the examples of these proteins. For example, if you look into this image, VAMP belongs to V-snare protein. Whereas syntaxin and SNAP25 belongs to T-snare. So they are having two polypeptides. This is one polypeptide. This is one polypeptide. So altogether we get a four helical structure. Other than that, you will find that RAB group of proteins are present in vesicle as well as the corresponding effector is present in the target. So this RAB proteins along with the snare proteins will pull the vesicle towards itself becoming a snare complex like this. Now you might be thinking what is the fate of this uh, snare proteins after the membrane fusion? Well the snare protein has to undergo disassembly. Then only it will be ready to take up another set of reactions. So for that, we are having this NSF and alpha snap that will help in disassembling the snare proteins. For that, I have another image. See, this is your accessory protein that is your uh, SNAP25 and this is your NSF, the major protein along with ATP. So the three will combine together and you can see V-snare and T-snare is separated now. Now, the snare proteins are ready to take up another set of reactions. Now, uh, when I say membrane fusion, it is definitely not a simple process because it involves a combination of proteins as you have already seen. And this combination of proteins are necessary for whatever or whichever biological process you go for. Just one more point to be added over here, this NSF is basically a hexameric ATPase protein. Usually cycles between the membrane and the cytosol for the purpose of disassembly. Okay. So here I have a RAB model of uh, explaining the membrane fusion. As you can see, this is the transport vesicle, this is the target membrane. So we have V-snare, T-snare, RAB GTP. RAB GTPs are connected by a group of tethering proteins. Then you have some multi-protein tethering complexes. So here examples are also provided. The fibrous tethering protein, Golgins and EEA1. Multi-protein complexes includes your exosystent trapi. So now you might have understood that membrane fusion is definitely not a simple process because it involves a group of proteins and you have to be very clear with each and every examples that belongs to which category of proteins. You will definitely able to clear any question that comes from this part. Next, moving on to the next question. Now this is about blood group antigens. As you can see, this is a simple match the following question. So on column, in column X, you will find blood group antigens are provided and in column Y, the corresponding enzymes are provided. But what is the question is asked that is more important? Here you need to identify the incorrect combination of the blood group type. So usually when, whenever this match the following kind of questions come, they are asking us the correct combination. But in this question, they are asking the incorrect combination. So you have to read the question thoroughly before getting into the answer. So here the incorrect combination is O with a combination of these three enzymes. So let's check it out how the combination is incorrect. Always remember one thing. The carbohydrates that are present on the glycolipids of RBC plasma membrane will determine whether a person's blood type is A, B, AB or O. And O antigen is the parental one. That means from where A antigen and B antigens are synthesized. O antigen, as you can see, it is made up of 1 glucose, 2 galactose, 
one galactose in a connecting link with fucose and one N-acetyl glucose amine. So, if a person carries the A antigen, they will be having N-acetyl galactose amine as an extra component. The enzyme responsible for this addition is N-acetyl galactose amine transferase. On the other hand, if a person is carrying the B antigen, he will have, he or she will have extra galactose molecule over here. And the enzyme responsible for the transfer is galactose transferase enzyme. So, this is what the concept of blood group antigens is. You may have a look into the footnotes here for the uh, expansion of the sugar molecules. And uh, yes, if you remember this combination, that itself will help you in fetching a good number of mark from this question. So, thank you so much. I will come up again with some other important topics from Unit 2.